Okay, this next section is a very short one. Hopefully it won't take too long. Uh, page 124 through to 131. Um, and so the key events in this um, section, it's all about the comet. Um, and so nine months, the settlement's nine months old, so it's like from January, maybe September 1788. Um, and they're anticipating that the comet's going to be there between October and March. Um, and Rook is looking for that comet um, every night. He's um, never seen a comet before. But obviously, as an astronomer, he knows what to look for. Um, he's taking care. He's not hurrying. He's um, he thinks he's found it, a blur on the black sky, but it was something on his lens or that was not there the next night. So it was something teasing him. Um, and so... He gets more and more anxious because if he can't find the comet, he's going to have to go back to ordinary duties. Because of the comet, he was exempt from his ordinary duties and he desperately does not want to be a Marine. He doesn't want to be a soldier. Um, and so um, then... Um, there's some a description of the natives being more and more bold. So um, two prisoners have been stoned with a stone thrown on them. Um, and one has vanished with only a hat. Um, some people say these attacks are a response to the kidnapping of Bowenbar and Warrangan. Um some people are saying that the governor should not have ordered it done. Others are saying that they should that the governor should ha make a greater demonstration of force. There was many different opinions, um, and so the the comet is still not arriving. Um, Gardner also is upset about the comet not arriving because he knows that he might be in a position like he was. So Rook might be in a position like he was. Um, if he doesn't find the comet, um, but the comet does not appear. And um, then he writes a letter um, to let know that the comet hasn't arrived. Um, he's only planning to send it if it doesn't come, but it's clear by April that there was no comet going to appear. Um, so he talks about the fact that in the Northern Hemisphere, there is the North Star, the spot around which the northern axis of the Earth rotates, but in the south, there's no such aid. I wonder if that's symbolic of him being directionless or um, fruitless or just difficult. He says that it makes him think if there were an almighty God, he's not particularly concerned with human convenience. Um, and pretty much that's the end of that chapter. There's no comment and good friendship with Gardner.